Taking a closer look at the impact of artificial intelligence here in Texas, the co-chair of the new AI Advisory Council is from Tarrant County. Uh, Chris Lawrence spoke to him about the danger it poses, how Texas is using the technology right now, and where it's going in the very near future. State Representative Giovanni Capriglione believes artificial intelligence will transform Texas down to the very way it's governed. You're going to see laws passed written completely by AI. Department is coordinating. So the first thing his new committee did was see just how easily an AI model could manipulate them. So it makes an article, same font, same everything. Knows I live in South Lake, so it puts the South Lake City Hall and it says active shooter alert. Authorities investigate multiple yet unverified claims of armed individuals near voting sites. So imagine that goes out in the middle of election day. Can legislation keep up with this technology? Yeah, I mean, it's going to be challenging. It's not just about how private forces use AI, but also how the government is using it, which could be just as worrisome. When the committee told state agencies to account for all their AI right now, they came back with nearly 700 uses. What jumped out to you? I'll give you an example. So TextDot, for instance, does a lot of invoicing, tens of thousands of invoices to pay con contractors. It used to take about three weeks. Well, now it takes about 27 seconds to go through an invoice. So it's a massive savings in time and it's efficient. TechStat also launched a pilot program in Austin using AI cameras to detect stalled cars, crashes, ice, and debris. By having artificial intelligence looking at those video screens effectively, they're able to see accidents happen in real time. And what they have shared with us is they've already seen in many cases a five to 10 minute reduction in traffic. So it gets people help faster, it helps clear up the traffic faster. But up till now, no state has done more to address AI than California. The city of Stockton just installed AI cameras on its code enforcement trucks to identify violators. There's a bill requiring you to get consent before using AI to replicate a dead performer's image, and another that mandates community college classes be taught by human professors, not AI. Is it going to disrupt the jobs? Yes, but what does it mean entirely? I don't see us coming up with having to make a law to go and say, okay, you can't replace this person for that person. Capriglione says Texas has to devise legislation that regulates AI without strangling innovation. We're gonna have our own, uh, our own version of how it can be done. But that being said, we do need guardrails. Now, over the next couple of months, the council will assess uh, whether Texas really needs that state code of ethics and then make policy recommendations as well. Representative Giovanni Cabriglione expects to see some of it turned into actual bills in the next legislative session.